plan is to make up a cure mix for some kingfish belly from a fish we were lucky enough to shoot the other day. I did give this one a go a couple weeks ago when the bonito were thick and plentiful and really enjoyed it so I'm keen to have another go at this one. This is a cut leaf mint or native thyme as it's also called. There are a lot of species of native thyme though. We do have this one here as well which I'm not too sure on the exact species. It does kind of have a minty mentholy smell to it but that's more when you haven't cooked it. Once you have cooked it it's kind of peppery, kind of earthy, a bit more floral. Uh, less of that minty menthol which is awesome. So I grabbed a little bit of this one as well and I did just want to use a touch of this lemon myrtle. But I think we might try and take the tips. Beautiful. Straight into it here. We're gonna get 80 grams of salt to 40 grams of sugar. Pepper berries, native thyme oregano and that lemon myrtle. A little bit of sodium nitrite on top to kill any bacteria. Blend it all up and there's your mix. Let's take off our beautiful kingfish fillets. Now usually when you take the ribs out of a fillet like this, you're gonna end up with a real thin piece of belly meat. And that's not really useful for us in this cure. So here I'm just slicing down away from the ribs through that belly flap, just to cut off that little extra skinny piece and keep it on the rib bones there. This will give you an awesome little rib cut that you can grill or barbecue, something like this. We're gonna take the bloodlines off our little belly cuts here as these will be the first things to spoil and turn our cuts real fishy. Top to bottom, we're gonna cover these portions in a generous coating of our cure. You wanna coat every single little piece of meat you can see to ensure that everything is gonna be cured. Sweet, so these bad boys are all salted up, all covered in that lovely cure we just made. And with the foot, and they're gonna go in the fridge. And they will live here for the next two to three days. This is day two. The fish had only been in the fridge for around 24 hours at this point, but it was actually the second day. Of the cure, we're gonna give the fish a quick a little flip here. See, it's already let go of heaps of liquid there. Already firming right up. So I just changed that paper towel over and pulled out all of the salt and drippings that have fallen out. There's plenty of salt on these, so they shouldn't have any bacteria breeding, but it is just nice to know that it's clean under there. And that is looking unreal. Big day of working today, but it is beer o'clock and time to check. We spilt him. On the mic? Nah, just not easy. It is time to check on the kingfish. Let's see how he's gone. I think we're gonna pull him today. I did leave the bonito recently for three days. Excuse me. 
but these have been in here for like two whole days and they're still a bit soft which I kind of like. It'd be interesting because the bonito did end up almost a bit barky. This mic muscle here, you can see all the lines on it there. It's just losing all of its moisture, and just exposing all of those muscle fibers. So last time I used a smoke box, I'll show you that in a bit, but it didn't work so well. So this time we've got a smoke basket. It's like a snail kind of shape, a lot of mesh through it. I'm hoping that this will allow the sawdust to get a lot more airflow and as a result, stay lit and smolder for longer. This is the log, the timber I've been using. Um, I think it's a gum of some kind, maybe red gum. Could even be black butt, something like that. It is beautiful though. Smells amazing. Either way, it's a piece of beautiful Aussie hardwood. Super high tech, little sawdust catcher system here. Electric plane, vacuum hose, Woolies bag. The Weber kettle, my favorite little barbecue thing to use. Set it up underneath, I reckon, just so that the smoke can come up through the grill onto the fish. So this is the smoke generator I was talking about. A bit better than this thing, that they reckon will burn and smolder, even when there's a lid like this on it. And I reckon they're full of shit because it doesn't burn and doesn't keep burning. But I kind of made it work last time. I like filled it up with sawdust and then just put coals in and just let them smolder. So I'm hoping this is going to work better. Got airflow all around the wood dust and hopefully things can keep burning. Let's see how this goes. Now I want to start it with the Big dog. They reckon you start it with a little, little tea light, but I don't really know about that. We can try. It has begun. Oh, I don't know about this whole candle thing. It's kind of working, but it's not really burning. It's not really burning, is it, mate? Hmm, kinda working. All right, so we're getting a good amount of smoke out of that. Hopefully that'll hold. Put the door over it, and we can get to it. See what we get. I think, you can take a bit of that cure off as well. It's gonna be Pop up potent. Yeah, see, I swear it's already kind of just going out. Close it up. Keep these top vents shut. And we'll just let that smoke build up and develop inside. See how this is going, huh? There's a little bit. Is it still smoking though? Fuck, it's barely burning, mate. This thing's a gimmick. You yeah, kidding? Back to the other way, I guess. E? Heaps good. Oh. I love a bit of experimentation and figuring things out. But this is making me work way too hard. It should not be this hard, surely. We are going to start a little fire off the side so that we can get some coals to use in our little smoke box because this isn't working at all. So lucky enough, I had this old little oil barrel barbecue I made. So we can start up a little fire in that. 
This thing was V1, pre-Weber grill. Look at that, homemade jobby. Handle, frame, everything. Sweet <whistles> barn. Right, let's leave that to burn. Go get another beer. And then we can get this fish back on the smoke. So let's take some of these red hot glowing coals. Glowing. You can drop them in here. Oh yeah. I reckon that's gonna work quite well. Look at that one. A noise. Smash this lid on. Love it. I reckon that's working a lot better already. Here we go. Now that is way better. The fish stayed on for a few hours last night. Still not really working properly, so I'm gonna have to figure out a better system. Mmm. If anyone's got any ideas, hit me up. I'm all ears. I would love to keep using some semi-local hardwoods, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe we'll have to do like a little offset situation or something like that. Either way, still managed to get a few hours of smoke on the fish, so let's cook it up. There we have it guys, cured kingfish bagels. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see some more epic cook-ups, you can jump over to my Instagram, Bosch John.